Hey guys. Well, it is that time of the year again, and I am working on some ornaments. And I am doing something a little bit different this time. Um, I've got two other videos out that I will put the links in the description. Um, this is still the bloom recipe for your paint. Um, I am using Color Art products, and uh, my first two videos I used the bloom technique using pillow paint um, and two of these ornaments that I'm gonna do are not gonna have pillow paint and I want to show you what the outcome is um, when you don't use pillow paint versus when you do um, and then the other we are gonna do a loaded palette knife and kind of do a swipe across our ornament and see what happens um, in order to give it some amazing bling. We're going to be using uh, a color art product called Diamonds that I think you'll really like. So here I'm just showing you how I spray painted these. I used uh, navy, burgundy, gold, and hunter green spray paint. And I just took them outside and kind of sprayed them willy-nilly um, until they were covered with all four colors in some kind of a, a appealing way. And that's all I wanted to do. So that's how I start out. Um, I'm gonna let you watch a little bit of the video. I'll hop back in here at different places um, when I need to explain things. And uh, I hope you enjoy. One thing that I do point out in one of my previous videos on ornaments is that when you use pillow paint, the only purpose of that pillow paint is to allow those colors, that paint, to spread over the ornament. So because there is no pillow paint on this ornament, that paint is going to be a little bit thinner and it's going to spread just a little bit more. Um, it doesn't have that cushion of the pillow paint. So those amazing cells and everything that you saw, when we're done here and you see the final result, they're going to be stretched out just a little bit uh, more than you expect. So I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up on that. Star 
shine on Simmer down, simmer down Pass a big smile around Now that everything is gold The children hunker down to see What's hidden beneath the Christmas tree Look but not touch their toes when we're caught in the Christmas rush It's so easy to lose touch With the true meaning of things And what really matters Just look up Here is where you're going to see what I was talking about. Um, it almost looks like a big colorful spider web. That paint really, really spread out. And again, your pillow paint is there to help that colored paint retain more of its shape um, with regards to the cells and lacing so that it doesn't spread out too much. But my last two videos, I used pillow paint and I wanted to show you what would happen if you didn't. So you saw the result and it's still really pretty. There is nothing wrong with it at all. It's a very different look, um, but it just kind of depends on what you're going for personally. Something to be great. 
So what I'm doing here is highlighting the existing colors that I painted onto the ornament, uh, the green, blue, gold, and red, with the corresponding colors of the diamonds, which are also green, gold, blue, and red. Um, and what the diamonds do is they, they dry clear, but they uh, obviously, since they dry clear, they're transparent. So you're gonna be able to see the color underneath it, but you saw the sparkle uh, when I was showing you each color in the little cup. And it just gives some added bling to your ornaments. I mean, guys, these are ornaments. You want them sparkly and eye-catching. Um, and that is what the Bling It Diamonds line does. It gives you bling and shimmer and shine and glistening color on steroids. Um, I love using these diamonds. I don't use them too much, but uh, in appropriate cases like Christmas ornaments, I always love to get them out. And if you've never tried them, I highly recommend it. They are, they are a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, and I think you'd like them. Of course, you want to seal your ornaments uh, to protect the paint so that it doesn't chip. Um, now, the first video I did last year, I used Liquitex High Gloss Varnish, and it worked amazing. I had absolutely no complaints, um, but I got some Tri-Art Liquid Glass, and uh, in my last video I did, I tried that, and it went on just as easy and smooth and gorgeous um, as the Liquitex. The Triart Liquid Glass is a little bit shinier the first coat, um, so you don't have to put on as many coats to get that kind of almost resin look. So I honestly started preferring using the Triart Liquid Glass. Um, it's a wonderful product.
Here I'm just using my heat torch to uh, pop any bubbles that might have come up in the liquid glass. And uh, here they are finished. And I think they turned out really pretty. They're colorful, they're sparkly, they're everything that a Christmas ornament should be. Um, you can do this, I've been asked, you, you can do this on uh, plastic ornaments as well. I just prefer the weight of the glass. Um, obviously they're easier to break if you're uh, butterfingers like I am sometimes, but um, I, I just prefer the weight of the glass. They just feel more um, organic to me, I guess. Now I did not do both sides. Um, the other side is the original uh, where I spray painted the ornaments. So that side got um, two coats of the triart glass as well. So everything's nice and shiny. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. These are so fun for me to make and I know people are wanting ways to make your own, do it yourself. Um, and I hope I was able to help in some regard. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Bye.